like to welcome uh, Sri Anish Satyan, Senior Scientist, CDAC. Uh, the session is on Smart Farm Management System Solutions by CDAC. Ladies and gentlemen, with a huge round of applause, let us welcome Sri Anish Satyan, Joint Director, Scientist E at Control and Instrumentation Group, Center for Development of Advanced Computing, R&D with more than 18 years of experience in the domain. So I would like to welcome you onto the stage, please. Good evening, all, and thank you for the Kerala Startup Mission and the dignitaries of the DIAS. So myself, Anish Satyan, uh, from CDAC Sivandra. In the inaugural talk, as uh, Rajeshri Madam uh, rightly specified, so ZDAC is an R&D organization which do R&D in different sectors, uh, like uh, in agriculture is one among them, where IoT based sensors or uh, uh, with IoT solution itself is used. So I am here to present about the uh, IoT based smart farm solution for smart farm management. Okay, next slide. So coming to, we have heard about a lot of terms about the agriculture, cultivation, automation, etc. So coming to the term precision farming, it is nothing but it is IT enabled farming. Means everything which is required for the plant, for the crop, will be given at the right time, at the right moment, in the right quantity, in right amount. So that's what it's about precision farming. So in the panel discussions, um, respected uh, Sr. Sir was uh, mentioning about the drudgery of farming operation. It's not applicable only to animal husbandry. It is actually applicable to smart farms, means uh, farming solutions or agriculture farming also. So as he rightly said, the age, age group which is actively involved in farming, it will be, it is very less. Um, we can find the um, very less number of people less than 35 age or most of them are less than 40 I'm sorry more than 40 or more than 50 so the drudgery of farming activity has to be avoided or has to be minimized so there is the aim for developing such a system by CDAC next so these are uh, some of the bottlenecks OI farming or is not adapted to high-tech technologies first and foremost is about the costing then the fear of adapting the um, technology whether it will uh, make a loss or not then lack of uh, adequate credit support investment system the initial investment about the initial investment to overcome this CIDA has come out come up with a solution next come up with a solution for agriculture automation so these are some of the solution we have hardware modules we have software solutions we have management solution mobile application everything is ready to use ready to use in the sense we have developed the technology we have farm tested or farm field installation has been done more than 10 installations we have done and we have fine-tuned the system we have made the system suitable for farmers so we have the smart farm version 2 then agri sense system that is under development then smart agri agriculture management solution cloud aware data analytics and leaf sense system next so coming to the smart farm version 2.0 so this is the main controlling unit which control all the activities related to farm it not only monitors the operations like uh, uh, soil moisture, soil temperature, etc. In addition to that, it records all the details. It updates the farmers on a regular basis using a mobile application. He can um, the situational awareness of the farm conditions will be updated. He can control the farm equipments. Everything can be done over a touch of his finger. Next, so these are some of the features of the system. Uh, so we hourly, weekly, daily, monthly and yearly uh, planner for agriculture cultivation is available. Irrigation, fertigation can be controlled. Atmospheric parameters also can be controlled. For example, for cultivating capsicum or for cultivating a tomato, a special temperature or a specific temperature and humidity is required. So with our system, we can maintain those parameters. Next. So uh, these are the different modes of operation. Our smart farm system operates in auto, manual, remote and timer mode. In auto mode, it receives 
sensor data from different sensors and depending on the pre-configured uh, configuration or pre-configured algorithm and interlocking mechanism it controls the form parameters in uh, manual mode of operation the equipment is equipped with a seven, five inch or seven inch display unit so with that display unit the farmers can directly control the farm equipments and in remote mode of operations two modes of remote operations are there one is IDRS based for less educated farmers and another one is mobile application based so in using mobile application and through IDRS we, uh, the farmers can control all operations including uh, the um, control operations in the farm then the fourth one is timer based so in timer based operation all the operations without sensors or without manual operations everything can be controlled based on the timing configuration next so these are different sensors which can be interfaced with the smart farm unit and different outputs or different control equipments which can be controlled using the smart farm next uh, so these are the specification skip to the next uh, so uh, we have a pc based software for data logging and for um, report generation next so this is a uh, pictorial representation how the smart farm unit is, can be implemented it can accept different sensors it may be either wired or wireless um, <coughs> it is the smart farm unit is equipped with the LoRa and NB-IoT communication interfaces so it accepts different uh, inputs and it can control similarly the data will be sent pushed to cloud through 4G and 5G actually our module was uh, 4G enabled and recently our module has been demonstrated at IMC Indian Mobile Congress during the launch of 5G and we upgraded the system to 5G compatible and we have done a demonstration also so from 5G the data can be transmitted to the mobile app and also to the smart farm GUI interface next so this is the <coughs> IoT wired network where the different sensors can be interfaced. The sensors can be interfaced using um, self-healing network. So suppose if one network, one particular node get fails, the other will get corrected. So just move on. So these are the different versions from minimum version to higher end version where 4G, 5G enabled solutions are available. Next. So these are some of the configuration windows. It's, it's having inbuilt configurator, no need of PC or any other software. Next. So, uh, during the Mobile Congress uh, demonstration, honorable, uh, we have demonstrated the system to our Honorable Prime Minister. Next. So, uh, the usability, the system can be further extended to hydroponics, aquaponics, vertical farming, etc. And different parameters can be added. So th this is another solution where the NPK sensor, NPK uh, for, um, elements of the uh, soil can be analyzed. Next. So this is the mechanism where soil can be put into the particular system. The further analysis will be done automatically and uh, uh, it's um, almost done. Some In another three months or four months we could uh, and, uh, come out with the solution for the NPK sensor. This is also a low cost sensor. So it can be interfaced with the smart farm or agriculture automation solution. Next, agriculture ecosystem modeling. In agriculture ecosystem modeling, we are modeling not only the plants, but the ecosystem can be uh, modeled so that the, um, how much yield can be predicted from a particular crop can be predicted in advance. So uh, that is about the agri uh, agriculture ecosystem model. Then another one is a leaf analysis system. This particular leaf analysis system also we have explained during the agriculture IMC Indian Mobile Congress where we have used the camera based solution to identify different diseases and different nutrient deficiency for chili plants. Next. So agriculture 4.0 is another buzzword where not only the agriculture particular cultivation automation but different stakeholders like marketing, storage and adaptive accessibility everything will be addressed next. So a few terms in agriculture 4.0 are I was just writing because I am running out of time then expert system next. 
So these are some of the buzz um, words, um, some of the elements which can be incorporated with the agriculture at 4.0 so that we can make the agriculture more affordable, more profitable and we can, um, we can empower the lives of common farmers. So coming to the conclusion, uh, SIDAC is ready with a solution for smart farm. Uh, so uh, enterprise, entrepreneurs or startups who are ready to adapt the technology can contact us or um, our um, uh, technology promotion member, uh, registry madam is there, you can contact them. So the technology is ready uh, and fine, uh, field tested. So agriculture 4.0 is another opportunity where we multi-stakeholders can work together to empower the lives of Indian farmers. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. I request you to stay back on the stage. We have a small token of love and appreciation for you. To do the honors, I would like to welcome Mr. Agush, Program Coordinator, Kerala Startup Mission, onto the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, give a huge round of applause for Sri Anish Satyan, Senior Scientist CDAC, for presenting Smart Farm Management System Solutions by CDAC.